Hi everyone, this is the Halosa Trap in the Black Mart I'm a Gambit, which starts with uh, D4, D5, which is very common in online play. You'll probably catch a lot of sub 2000 players with this. Anyone stronger than that will see the lines most likely and not fall into it, but it's very good for Blitz and Bullet Games. So the Black Mart I'm a Gambit starts with E4, and after D takes E4, Knight C3. Knight F6 is the main line, and then F3. And black will usually play e takes f3 because uh, white is threatening to get a strong pawn center otherwise. So e takes f3. And then the normal move is knight takes f3. But with the Hadassah trap here, white plays queen takes f3, leaving the d pawn on pre. So after queen takes d4, the move is bishop e3. And uh, white has a, or sorry, black has a few options here. Queen g4 is the best move. But if he plays queen b4, which is fairly likely because it's threatening this pawn and seemingly inhibiting the castling on the queen side for black, because after uh, castling, there's bishop g4 winning the exchange. But this is the Halosa trap, and white can now play knight b5, and if bishop takes f3, knight takes c7 is mate. So, after knight b5. Black has to deal with this threat, and he can play, obviously, queen takes b5, because bishop takes b5, check, wins the queen. So, the best response is knight a6, and black can now play, or white can play, queen takes b7. Threatening the rook, and again giving check. So if the bishop was to take now, it will be lost after the queen captures the castle with check, and then the king can take the bishop. So, black's best response here is queen e4, and then white can play queen takes a6, and black's best reply is queen takes e3, check. If he plays bishop takes d1, then white can play king takes d1, and rook d8, check is the best move, bishop d2, and it's all over. White has a winning advantage now. For example, knight g4, knight takes c7, check, king d7, queen takes a7 and it's all over. So after uh, queen takes a6, queen takes e3 is the best move and white can then play queen, uh, king b1 and after queen c5 black or white has knight f3 and here white basically has one game because of the threat of queen b7 uh, threatening again the rook but more importantly threatening to win the a-pawn and create a passed a-pawn for himself which would be decisive and if here um, bishop takes d1 then uh, queen takes a8 check king d7 knight c3 and again it's winning for white this pawn will soon fall and again he'll have to pass pawn it will be decisive and should easily win the game okay so that was the halosad trap uh, good luck with it. I hope you have some success with it. Please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.